the slipped capital femoral epiphysis, also known as a skiffy, is a common cause of adolescent hip, groin, thigh, or knee pain. It is a disorder of the proximal femoral physis, which is the growth plate, with the displacement of the head and neck relationship. This requires the understanding of the anatomy of the long bones in a child, which are categorized into the diaphysis, which is the main shaft of the bone containing the primary ossification center, the metaphysis, where the shaft of the bone begins to flare out, which can also be referred to as the neck of the bone, and the physis, which is contained within the metaphysis and contains the growth plate responsible for bone lengthening. And finally, there is the epiphysis, which are the ends of the bone, usually containing the articular cartilage. In the most common form of skiffy, the femoral epiphysis is displaced posterior, inferior, and to a lesser extent, medial to the femoral metaphysis. Since the proximal metaphysis is confined well within the acetabulum, in reality, it can be the metaphysis that is displaced anteriorly, superiorly, and laterally. The less common form of skiffy is known as a valgus skiffy. Here, the femoral epiphysis is displaced supralateral relative to the metaphysis. Risk factors for skiffy include an increased BMI as the increased weight magnifies the stress applied onto the growth plate, as well as other endocrine abnormalities. Therefore, features of a typical skiffy would include patients below 50% the median weight for their age or below 10% the median height of their age. The pathologies can be visualized on an AP view of a hip x-ray. The earliest sign of a skiffy is a widening of the physis due to the detachment of the epiphysis from the metaphysis. This can also be referred to as the pre-slip phase. During the slip phase, the proximal epiphysis is displaced posterior, inferior, and medial to the metaphysis. The displacement will lead to the blurring of the proximal metaphysis, and it will also lead to an increase in the density of the proximal metaphysis due to the overlapping of the bones. Osteopenia within the femoral metaphysis may also be seen. The interruption of the clean line is a useful sign. This is a line drawn along the lateral border of the femoral neck, which in a normal femur will pass through the lateral part of the femoral epiphysis. In a skiffy, clean line will only touch the edge of the femoral epiphysis. Since the metaphysis is displaced laterally, it may not overlap the posterior lip of the acetabulum as it normally does. This is known as a loss of the triangular sign of Kapina. The signs mentioned can be made more obvious by taking an AP X-ray of the patient in a frog leg position. In this position, the thigh is first abducted, the knee is flexed, and then externally rotated to produce the position of a frog. The Southwick angle can be measured in this view to assess the severity of the slip relative to the unaffected contralateral side. Two lines are drawn along the epiphysis and the diaphysis, and the difference in the angle between the two sides are suggestive of the severity of the slip.